unionists yelled and jeered at Mr. Preble when he arrived at the meeting. How do you feel about this reaction to your policies? Oh, rent them up. <laughs> you don't think that Mr. Preble is a wimp? A wimp? Well, I don't particularly feel like that, but don't care for that much. Mr. Preble blames Sydenham MP Jim Anderton for what he calls the disgraceful incident. Jim most certainly did encourage them. I watched him at the meeting passing out notes uh, to his cronies and I saw the effects of what he was doing. It was not the sort of actions that one wants from the president of the Labour Party and it certainly wasn't the actions of a person that intends to unite the party. But Mr Anderton claims the minister got what he deserved for holding the meeting in an area of high unemployment. Just a wimp. Well, maybe a number of things, but I'm certainly not a wimp. I would say that if Mr. Preble chose to come to Sydenham, he chose to come, and 600 people, mainly from my electorate, turn up at the meeting, and they are stressed and angry, then he should be listening to that stress and anger rather than trying to blame me for it, because it goes much deeper than any personal attributes I might bring to the political arena. It has a lot to do with unemployment and the stress that that's placing on families. The 68-year-old retired man who threw the egg at Mr Preble says he'd throw another 10 at the minister if he got the chance. I was an old gunner and you're always allowed one to find the range and the next one you hit the target and that's what happens. He was bang spot on. But, you, you, you don't regret hitting him? Regret it? No, I wouldn't have thrown it but I'd regret it. In fact, I'd have been damn disgusted with myself if I'd missed. Mr Owen Cooper faces a disorderly behaviour charge in court tomorrow, but the effects of his eggs at last night's meeting could be felt as far away as Dunedin, where the party is shaping up for what will now be the most controversial contest for a Labour Party president in decades. Alana James for the Network News.